What is going on Alex Bros? It's Mr. C here and in this video I'd like to give you some information regarding homogeneous linear systems. Uh, the first being the definition of one of these. A system of linear equations is homogeneous if each of the constants um, are zero. Okay, so if each constant term in the equation is zero then we have a homogeneous linear system. So let's uh, assume that uh, we have uh, m equations here and n unknowns, all right, and uh, each of these expressions on the left are being set equal to zero. Then that would uh, constitute um, symbolically uh, the definition of a homogeneous linear system. Now, what's interesting about homogeneous linear systems versus non-homogeneous linear systems is that uh, homogeneous linear systems produce objects that are going through the origin. Now, do allow for the origin to be in multiple dimensions. Uh, for example, um, R2, or two-dimensional space, has an origin at 0, 0. Uh, Three-dimensional space has an origin at 0, 0, 0. Um, and then uh, it, it does uh, generalize to the higher dimensions, so there'd be an origin in four space, uh, four dimensional space, there'd be an origin in five dimensional space, and so on and so forth. All right, and even though we can't visualize objects uh, from four dimensional space and higher, um, this uh, property does um, generalize to those higher dimensional spaces. So, what I want to <coughs> Um, do is just kind of illustrate uh, one major fact regarding homogeneous linear systems uh, with diagrams uh, in uh, two-dimensional space. So I'm um, just going to construct a generic looking uh, system of linear equations where there are two equations and two unknowns and I, I'm going to have the linear system be homogeneous. So let's say our first uh, linear equation is ax plus by equals zero and our second linear equation is cx plus dy equals zero and um, we don't want uh, b and d to equal zero as you'll see why in just a minute um, but this is the uh, linear system I'm constructing it's very generic uh, but it's also homogeneous okay now, to uh, give you an idea of what's coming our way, if I were to solve for y in the first equation, that would be by equals negative ax, and dividing by b, which is why we, we don't want b to equal zero, we have y is equal to negative a over b <coughs> x. Solving for y in the second equation, we'd have dy equals negative cx. Divide each side by d, which is why we don't want d to be 0. We get y equals negative c over d x. Now, if you think about um, what's happening here, I put each of these um, linear equations in y equals mx plus b format. And in each case, the y-intercept is 0. So think about it this way. Uh, the first equation, y equals negative a over bx plus 0. And second equation, y equals negative c over dx plus 0. So both of these lines would have a y-intercept at the origin. Uh, therefore, uh, these lines are going through the origin. Now, um, one of two things could happen. So, so there are two separate cases. Um, for what could happen between two lines that are going through the origin. Uh, the first case is for when um, the slopes are the same. Or, I'm sorry, I, I want it to be the slopes are uh, different from each other. So let's imagine that the slope of negative a over b is different than the slope of negative c over d. Then both of these lines would be traveling through the origin, but in different directions. Okay, so just uh, generically speaking, let's say that the first line is going something like that, and the second line is maybe going down as we go from left to right. 
they do have a point of intersection and that point of intersection would be at the origin or 0 comma 0 so since there's one point of intersection there's just one solution the other situation that could happen is if both the slopes are the same alright so they'd both be going through the origin and they'd also both be overlapping each other so not only do they have a solution at the origin 0 0 again but there are lots of other solutions now because they're overlapping each other in fact there would be infinitely many solutions to that kind of homogeneous linear system so that leads us to the following important facts regarding the solutions to homogeneous linear systems every homogeneous uh, linear system has the following solution okay now I'm going to generalize this into higher dimensions 0 comma 0 comma dot 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 until we get to n zeros and this is known as the trivial solution trivial in the sense that well yeah I mean if the uh, linear equation uh, is being set to 0 then you could you could always substitute 0 into the variables and get 0 equals 0 so it's, it's kind of a freebie which is why we call it a trivial solution uh, moreover, there are only two possibilities for the solutions of a, homogene a homogeneous linear system. Either the homogeneous system has only the trivial solution, hence the first case where the slopes were different, or the system will have infinitely many solutions in addition to the trivial solution, hence the case where the slopes are the same. It has a trivial solution, 0, 0, since they're going through the origin um, but also these additional points uh, would be points of intersection last but not least fact three if a homogeneous system has more variables than equations then it is going to automatically have infinitely many solutions so fact three uh, basically forces us into fact 2b Alright, so uh, if you have any questions about what was presented in this video, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I appreciate you watching it, and I will see you guys next time.